Hello. We have another bird video. And we're already starting off strong. So, for anyone who's new here, this is Gypsy, my African Grey. This is Gizmo, my severe macaw. These are my parrots. We also have pigeons, but those aren't going to be part of this because pigeons and parrots are just two completely different stories. Recently, there have been a few changes I've been making. The sun is not on my side, so. So there are some changes that I've been making recently in the care of my parrots to benefit hopefully their just overall well-being but also their behavior. So pretty recently I was visited by fellow YouTubers Bird Tricks. Dave and Jamie are incredible bird trainers. They know a ton about just parrot behavior and nutrition and care. They have their own brand and online store. You can shop at birdtrickstore.com. They didn't pay me to do this, by the way, but they did provide me with this box that I want to share with you guys because there's a lot of cool stuff in here that I think will be very helpful. But also, but also, While they visited, we talked obviously a lot about birds. It helped me work through some different changes that I can make in the care of my birds that are going to, again, you know, help them most of all. What a lot of people assume about bird behavior is that it's all about how you treat the birds and how much time you're spending with them. And people feel like, you know, if you spend a lot of time with your birds, they'll be nice, they won't scream, they won't bite you. <laughs> and screaming and biting is like something you have to deal with with birds regardless. But there are also other factors that contribute into their overall behavior. The three biggest changes, I like how Gizmo's just in the corner. Gizmo, come here. You wanna nut Gizmo? Come here. Good bird. Gypsy's jealous. Gypsy, if you behave, you'll get a nut too. Here you go. The biggest changes I've been making with the care of my birds are the toys that I'm using, their sleep schedule, and their diet. Those are three things that play a large role in their overall well-being and behavior that I think a lot of people don't pay close enough attention to, and those are also just some of the most common mistakes made in parrot care. So we're gonna be talking about all of those things, but I wanna go ahead and show you guys this awesome box from Bird Tricks. They have this sampler box that's sort of meant to be kind of like a starter kit for birds in a way. It's basically like, let's say you have a parrot, but you don't really know what products you should be getting for your birds. This is a good thing to get to kind of just sample a few different things. And let's just get straight into it, honestly. Let's just open it up. So, so you'll see there's an assortment of things in this box. So in the box, I got this foraging toy. It's paper. There's this wood toy, and this is really nice. The wood is very soft feeling. Like, I can literally like, just stick my nail into the wood. It's very easy for birds to tear this apart, which is really good. And there's also this toy, which again is very soft wood. It's very easy to shred and tear apart. The most important factor about all of these toys is that they're all natural. There isn't going to be anything that they can't destroy. Kind of goes along with the, uh, one of the biggest change, well, these are all really big changes I'm making, but one of the most, I think, important changes I've made is with the toys I use with my birds and trying to go a more all natural route. Bird toys are made in just a variety of different materials, ranging from things like paper, cardboard, wood, plastic, metal. I've always used a variety of toys in my bird cages. I've always thought that having a variety of different materials was really important so birds could kind of figure out what they like to use the most. Gizmo's favorite toys here, Gizzy. Gizmo's favorite toys have always been his bowel and he also likes plastic toys. He likes to grab them and shake them around vigorously. I always thought that since he used those a lot, it was a great thing. He liked them, they enjoyed them. They made him happy, right? But that's not necessarily the case. Just because they like to use something a lot doesn't mean it's good for them. So Gizmo gets in his moods. 
where he would vigorously shake his bell. It would really just rile him up and then he would just end up having like a screaming fit. I just always thought he was a spicy bird and that was how he is, right Gizmo? Yeah. So the issue with these toys is they can trigger hormonal behaviors in birds. So like the bell, for example, him shaking the bell and making really loud noises with it just riled him up. It put him in a mood and ultimately made him misbehave. <laughs> so the issue with plastic toys and things like that is birds get frustrated when they can't destroy things. So they'll be chewing at it, chewing at it, shaking it around, whatever, and they want to destroy it. They have an instinct. They just love to tear things apart. It's just something they do in the wild. They chew on branches and wood and sh just shred things. It's good to help them wear down their beaks. But if they can't destroy it, it's gonna ultimately frustrate them and make them unhappy. So, one of my goals was to provide my birds with all natural toys and try to eliminate any plastic and metal and just things that they can't shred and things that aren't natural. Now, I didn't really know how this was gonna go with Gizmo because like I said, he never played with very many of his toys. I always had natural toys available to him, but he never liked them very much. Sometimes he would shred paper, but that's about it. Uh, for the most part, he was just going for the things that made loud sounds in his cage. So what I ended up doing was slowly started eliminating some of the toys little by little so that he wasn't overwhelmed by this huge change where half his toys were gone and different. So I started by taking away his favorite bell and I replaced it with a toy in the same exact spot that I wanted him to pay attention to instead. And it was actually a toy like this, which was something that I did not think he was gonna use. But what ended up happening was when I put him back in his cage, he went to go check out his bell and ring it, but it wasn't there obviously. So instead he started checking out the toy that was in the bell's place and he actually started chewing it up immediately. I was shocked to say the least. It was really that easy, and I can't believe I didn't try anything like that before, but it worked. Still some plastic toys, we can go remove them and switch them out with some of these now. And then, I mean, I think we'll pretty much have most of the plastic, if not all of it, gone out of their cages. But that was one really big change that I tried to make with my birds. Next thing is diet. So obviously, I think a lot of you guys know this, that Bird diets are very misunderstood and a lot of people make the mistake of primarily feeding their birds seed. And this is something that I've talked about before. It's extremely important to find a high quality pelleted diet for your birds. And also of course feed them fresh foods like vegetables and make them like a chop. But one thing that's included in this box also are the Bird Tricks life enhancing pellets for parrots. So these are Honestly, I'm not just saying this, most impressive pellets I've seen for birds. So it's nice that they offer you a sample of this and then, you know, if you want to get more, they can get bigger bags. But what's nice is, and it says right here on the front, they're free from corn, soy, peanuts, sugar, artificial colors and flavors. And they're also cold pressed. So because they're not processed with heat, it's going to preserve most of the nutritional value in the ingredients. And one of the biggest issues with a lot of bird pellets on the market is if you look at the ingredients list, usually like one of the first things is corn. Corn is just a filler. It's not something that's actually going to be very nutritionally beneficial to your birds. Then there's also things like sugar, peanuts, and just things that are normally supposed to just be snacks and rewards for birds and not just a part of their everyday diet, you know? I definitely challenge you to take a look at your bird's pellets, look at the ingredients, and see if you see a bunch of filler ingredients like corn, soy, peanuts, sugar, things like that. So the first few ingredients right here, alpha alpha leaf, millet, barley, rice, all the ingredients in here are good. And again, it's cold pressed, so the nutritional value is there. So if you have your birds on a pellet that's lower quality and maybe higher in sugar, you're going to have to try to transition them onto something like this, which isn't always the easiest thing because the really sugary food 
foods taste better to them. I was slowly able to transition them onto this and now they're eating this no problem. So yeah, I would highly recommend the Bird Tricks pellets for your birds. Definitely give it a try. It's just, again, like the best quality pellets that I've seen. And then we have a couple fun little treat sort of things. So these are Bubba's Blend. Bird Tricks Birdie Bread Blend, and then Comet's Concoction Sweet Potato and Turmeric. So these are Birdie Breads. So there's a recipe on the back. You just mix this mix with a few other ingredients. Applesauce, egg, baking powder, baking soda. Bake it in the oven and it makes like a bread for your birds. I haven't tried these yet, but I'm very excited to do that because I've never made my own like treats for my birds. This one's just shitting all over the box. There's just some fun little things in here, like a little notepad. There are a few of these, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're the things you, they're like the, you can see it. They're the little hooks that you use to hang toys in the cage. There's chopsticks. You want a chopstick, Gypsy? Look at that, what's that? There's my, look, look at that. It's a chopstick. Here you go. Okay. This is a really cute little enamel pen. Gypsy's yeah, taking the chopstick. There's a clicker. So this is good for clicker training your birds. And again, more about that over on the Bird Tricks channel. I haven't done any clicker training with my birds, but I definitely think I should try. Maybe that would be an interesting video. And then again, there's a couple of these little cards with recipes on them. So there's the Bird Tricks Bites, and then there's mini stuffed shells. And they also have their own whole recipe books for birds that you can get on their website as well. And then they also have, these are all like coupons for different things. There's like coupon for the foraging toys, coupons for the pellets, and just the different things that are sampled in this box. So that if you decide that you like anything in here and you wanna get more, you have a discount coupon so that you can, you know, like if you wanna get pellets, you can get a bigger bag and also get some money off. So that's also really thoughtful. So yeah, this box is just a really nice way to sample some different products and try different things for your birds. And obviously, you know, everything included in this box is going to be really good for your birds and safe and just good quality. So that's extremely important. And last but not least, an extremely important part Do you think there's something in my hand? Ensuring that your bird's getting a minimum of 12 hours of uninterrupted sleep is extremely important. Birds need to be in an area where they can sleep undisturbed for 12 hours. Like my birds are in a very common area of the house and what I've been having to do is I have, well I have these little travel carriers that I actually use as like a sleeping cage. So like a nighttime bedtime cage for them. And I just go put it in a room where I'm not gonna be in for the rest of the night. Let them go to sleep for 12 full hours and that'll help their overall mood and behavior. And I'm sure you guys can relate. Like if you don't get a full good night's rest, you're gonna be grumpy and birds are no different. That's something that plays a really big role in their behavior. And if you can get their diet correct and get them having a good night's sleep, a lot of the time that will help a lot with their behavioral issues. We have some remodeling to do of the bird cages. So let's go ahead and do that really quick and switch out some of the toys. I guess not. I don't, where are you going? He's trying to see if he can reach my camera. Not quite, Gizmo. So as you can see, we have Gizmo's cage here. He's right here, a lot. <laughs> so most of the toys in here are not plastic. We have a couple of them left though. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. He really likes grabbing these plastic chains and rattling them. But you can't do that anymore, Gizmo. <laughs> so I'm gonna be replacing that with this foraging toy. And I honestly, again, I kind of doubt he's gonna use it just cause I've never seen him use any of these sort of pinata toys. 
but I might try to stuff some treats that he likes in here and that'll hopefully encourage him. This boy. So this is a bell and plastic. There was wood on this at one point, which he, it actually looks like he did tear off the wood. But yeah, this is bad. I think that, that's probably his last remaining bell, so. No more bells for Gizmo. I'm just gonna put this toy where that was. You're good to go, Gizzy. Come on. You got some new toys. Here. I'm gonna shove some nuts in this pinata. Gizmo, look. Do you see it? Do you want it? Look. I'm putting it in here. As you can see, <laughs> Gypsy has this like receipt paper toy that she really likes. She likes to pull that receipt paper, so. There is a bell on that toy and a couple little pieces of plastic. I'm just gonna leave that in there though until she completely destroys the receipt paper because I don't want it to go to waste. So there's this one. This used to have a bunch of paper in here, but she uh, pulled it all out anyways. So we don't need that anymore. There's also this plastic thing, which she actually does like that quite a bit too. Sorry. Oh, sweet. I was able to rip the bell and some of the pieces of plastic off of that toy, so that's a plus. Excuse me. You get a pinata, and you also get one of these. How's that, Gypsy? Basically, I just wanted to talk to you guys about some of the changes I was making. I will keep you guys posted about how it goes. Make sure to check out Bird Tricks, their YouTube channel, as well as their store will be linked down in the description below. The sampler box is awesome, and they also have a bunch of other really helpful products as well. And I would also definitely, obviously highly recommend trying out their pellets, because again, they're just, the quality, the ingredients, everything about them is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, all my social media links will be down in the description below. And I will see you guys in my next video.